What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. Today we are going to be finally defending our welterweight title for the last time before we move up to middleweight to fight Michael Bisping for his undisputed middleweight championship of the world. First of all though, we have to get through Donald Cerrone, which isn't an easy feat. Donald Cerrone, a very, very good fighter. Currently in the lightweight division though, he's actually not a welterweight, or he's not fighting at welterweight much anymore. I believe he's been cutting down, and obviously his last fight, I believe it was with Justin Gaethje, but Cowboy fights every five minutes. That dude, he's got like, I think he's like the all-time leader in wins because he fights like every five days <laughs> or something crazy. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, we're going to dive in. Umar Nazir defends his welterweight strap against one of the biggest UFC legends to ever do it. So we're going to dive in there with Cowboy, and Umar's, he's kind of learned a new style. He's kind of, instead of being like some really good pressure fighter, Umar's going to be taking his time. He's going to be flowing nice. He's going to be trying to just outscore Donald Cerrone, and that is how we're going to do this from now on. We're going to be just a nice, flowy fighter with nice combinations. We've changed his stance. I believe he's got the Tony Ferguson stance. I couldn't find the Nick Diaz one, so that's annoying. So we're going to flick off these kicks. Cowboy pushing with some nice jabs there. Cracking him. Oh, cracking him early. Let's go. Good, good start for Umar Nazir in this one. Nice movement from Umar. Very nice leg kicks as well. That's something he needed to learn. He needed to learn how to uh, be a little bit better of a kickboxer. He, he's a good boxer. Like, really good. But I wanted him to be a really nice kickboxer too. Nice head kick there as Cowboy comes in. Chopping up them legs so far. Umar Nazir doing a good job. Flowing well. Got to work that body kick. That's what we need to do. Nice head kick there from Cowboy. Getting caught a little bit. Oh, he's dropped. Nice. Cowboy Cerrone hits like a truck, bro. I feel like we're, we're taking our time and we're being too relaxed. Like, we got to go at this, dude. If we lose this fight, the super fight with Bisping is done. There is no super fight. Nice leg kick from Cowboy. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Okay. Oh, Umar Nazir been dropped in, in his last three fights. Not great for wow. the champion. Nice Gets a takedown, but that's fine. Down. Umar Nazir is so good on the ground. I think this could be a bad idea for Cowboy. Bulldog choke. Cowboy has some nice submission defense, but can he get out of a five-step bulldog choke? We're about to find out. We're in three, I believe. Ah, we fucked it. Unlucky there. That's okay though, we're in a half guard here. That's a good position. I'll take it. Gonna get up, nice. Nice movement so far from Umar. Obviously getting dropped in this round is a problem. I feel like we've been okay though. Apart from that, I feel like we're dominating a little bit. We're doing okay, I would say dominate. But uh, we're doing okay, the body kicks are landing. Good, straight from Cowboy, let's go. In the back fist, catches him. Who might staying on him there? Nice timing on that shot. Let's go. Keep that jab in his face as well. I really just want to kind of bait him in with the kicks. Got like that again. Another good leg kick. Caught Nazir there. Lovely head kick there as well. He's leaving himself open. He's going to regret it. Elbow attempt there from Cerrone. Umar just trying to stay relaxed in there. Obviously, we're fighting some very, very good competition now. Michael Bisping next if we win this. Cerrone all gets caught with the head kick. Shoot for a takedown desperately. But a good, good end to the round there. We got dropped in this round. Umar Nazir taking the back. Unfortunately, doesn't have enough time to be able to finish it, though. But a good round for Umar. Very good round. I know we got dropped. Um, but we did crack him. I think we cracked him twice. It said we won. I don't know how we won that round. We got knocked down. So I don't really think we won. But I'll take it. I will take that. Into round two now. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. We're really just trying to, like, work it out. Just work out this style. I want to be a little bit more of, like, a kickboxer instead of just a boxer. Umar, I know he's still a striker. Head kick cracks him. Let's go. Spins. Nice. Umar with the pressure. This is what he's known for. This is the Umar of old we're seeing here. Nice leg kick from Cerrone. Umar slips. Cerrone with some really, really nice movement there. But Umar just able to time that takedown. And now he has the back. He's inside control. Still a bad position. Inside saddle now. Did we defend? No, we didn't. Okay, can we get a crucifix? If we get a crucifix, that could be a bad day for Cowboy. 
cracking him there. Still inside saddle. Whipping in these hammer fists, working down that block. Cerrone's in trouble here. We're going to get up. I do believe we can knock him out. And I think we will end up stopping Donald. Working them leg kicks really nice. Nice check there, though. Nice. That was nice. Working them kicks, too. Donald Cerrone. That high kick has been landing quite a lot in this fight. Okay, here we go. Cracking him. Nice head kick from Cerrone. He has been landing that high kick as well. That would have been a rock, I believe, if he hadn't had leaned in with a straight. Oh, oh. Nice body work there. Let's go. Let's go to work, Umar. Let's go, buddy. Nice leg kick there. Really want to work the body kicks. That's something I really want to start doing. Uppercuts there. Nice. Oh, oh. Brawling now. Let's go. Leg kick lands. Oh, cracked him with the hook there. Nice exchange. Umar Nazir. Push him forward. This is the kind of combinations we want to see from him. Working all the way up and down. Leg kicks, head kicks, body movement there. Let's go. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's down. Cerrone holding on in round two. Umar Nazir has him hurt bad. What the fuck are you doing, Umar? Okay, okay. Uh, do it again then, Umar. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Leg kicks are landing. Umar got to be careful, though. He's been caught a bit in this fight. Cerrone obviously dropping him. Showing some weakness. That isn't great. Oh, no, Donald. What have you done? Why would you go for the clinch with this man? He's out cold. Umar Nazir silences everybody in round number two. Donald Cerrone is out for the count. Nice roundhouse there. Kaboom. Dropped his hands. He was rocked from the knee to the head. And then we sent him down and out with that beautiful head kick. Umar Nazir gets it done again. We're going to move into the next fight, man. It is going to be against Michael Bisping. We are going to be defending. Well, not defending. We're going to be fighting for the middleweight belt. Umar Nazir now moving up to middleweight. And we are going to be fighting so many beasts there. You just think like Kelvin Gastelum. You think of like Yoel Romero. Oh my God. Robert Whittaker. Israel Adesanya. It's, it's going to be a crazy division. And we're going to tear that one up as well. We're going to try to anyway. They're going to be some big guys. So hopefully Umar can put on a bit of weight and get up there. But anyway, the next fight is against Bisping. Hopefully we get to fight like GSP or someone. That would be amazing. But we will see. Let's see. We're jumping a little bit too far ahead. Let's focus on Bisping first. And uh, he's still a tough guy. Like, we've got to get through Michael Bisping before we worry about anything else. So let's rock and roll. The super fight is here. Let's get it. The super fight is here. Michael Bisping v Umar Nazir for Las Vegas. This is going to be a crazy, crazy event. Now, we are still the champion, but I don't think we can actually go as the champion in these shorts. So we're going to go for the red ones. Uh, but yeah, we are fighting for the middleweight belt. If we do lose, uh, we obviously will not be a champion. Um, but we are relinquishing our welterweight strap, moving up to lightweight to fight this belt. Uh, which is kind of annoying. Or oh, uh, oh, lightweight to middleweight, even. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I wish you could like defend both. Like That would be really, really interesting. I believe like something like that for UFC 4 would be really, really cool, where you could defend two belts in two different weight classes, so you have to keep going up and down, fighting different competition, like the best of the best in a weight class. I feel like that would be such a good move moving forward. But here we go. Michael Bisping, Umar Nazir. What a war this one's going to be. Two, of the greatest fighters in the two big brawlers. Kept dominating their opposition. It was inevitable that this moment would come. Oh, boy. When the octagon door closes the for super fight, super fight is upon us. The talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. You can imagine Michael Bisping has been saying this a lot in the no build-up. ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line Here we go. to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, can we do it? There can only be. It's gonna be tough. One winner, a king, with two crowns. The super fight, champion versus champion. Michael Bisping, Umar Nazir. Now Umar Nazir learning a little bit more kickboxing. Uh, he's been training with the likes of George Michaels for this one, just to get a little bit more kicking in his arsenal here and we're going to be chopping up Michael Bisping's legs I feel like that's something we need to be doing 
Okay. Nice jab there. Really just going to be patient with it. Nice. There we go. Working them kicks. Nice head kick from uh, Bisping there, though. Cracking him. Chopping up them legs. Nice. That front leg. Working well. Really want to work the body kicks a little bit more, but there you go. Again, cannot do it. Nice free piece there, though. Umar is here. Landed already. A little bit more of a calmer approach from Umar. He usually rushes his opponents, throws crazy combinations. Not really doing that here. Nice front kick there from Bisping, this guy. Nice, okay. Oh, there we go. Trying to bait him in. Spinning. Oh, that would hurt him. Nice jab straight from Bisping. Obviously, the bigger man tonight, Michael Bisping. Nice three piece there from Umar. Rolls it over, tries to land the leg kick there. That would have been a beautiful kickboxing combo. Kicks Umar's leg. No knockdown, just a slip. That's fine. Trying to land something. Nice leg kick there from Big Sping. Big Sping, I can't speak. Nice, there we go. Nice combinations from Umar. Backing him up now. Really trying to land some big stuff. Bisping's hurt. He's backing up. I believe Bisping is also cut. Really trying to fire off them kicks. Umar Nazir, nice so far. Blood pouring out of the face of Bisping. Goes for a takedown. Nazir stuffs. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Up a cut to a hook. Really trying to whip in them leg kicks. He was trying to spin. Good shot there from Bisping, this guy. Trying to land these elbows. Really trying to whip in them body kicks. That's something we need to work on. Really want to land more of them. Nice body kick there. Really chopping up that lead leg from Michael. Another body kick lands. Tried the overhand there. Probably should have set it up. Throwing a jab, maybe. There we go. Nice combination from Umar. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Nice. Good shot there from Michael Bisping. And again. Really just trying to stay calm. Oh, a lovely spinning kick there. Umar Nazir backing him up. Is he about to be a double champ? We will see. Tried to double up on the body kick. Didn't work. Uppercut into a hook. This thing's hurt again, but the buzzer saves him. Saved by the bell. He is hurt. I, I believe we could get him out of there relatively easy. Um, just because he does, he tries to brawl. But he's one of my favorite fighters. I'm not saying he's bad by any means, but oh, good two shots there from uh, Umar from Michael Bisping. Nice shot there again. Starting to come out a little bit more desperate, Michael Bisping. Really knows he's behind. Losing the first round by a big landslide. Nice jab straight. Trying to move well. Umar just kind of waiting on him. Just letting him come in. Let him make the mistake. Then we will land. Big shot. Trying to turn it over. Lovely straight from Michael Bisping there. Though. Let's go. Trying to sway in. With some nice, uh, some nice moves there. Some nice leg kicks or something like that. Been working that front leg. Nice head kick there. Beautiful timing for Umar. Trying to work the body. Goes to the leg. Let's go. Bisping doing a really good job of defending that and getting out of range. Two nice shots there from Umar. Lovely front kick again. Really been his best weapon in his last two fights. That front kick. Just flicking it in. As we see there. Goes up high. Umar Nazir really putting in some nice kick in here. Let's go. Trying to cut him off. Cuts in. Nice body kick there. Bisping's leg, man. Chopping that up. Kicking him again. Let's go, man. Umar's really got some nice kicks now. He never. Oh, a lovely straight drops him. Can we get hold of him? I believe if we get hold of him in the clinch, it's game over. I, I believe that. I think we're just doing a really good job working him down. Good shot there from Bisping. Lovely slip from Umar. Let's go. In a decent fight, Umar's really, really had a tough time in the UFC. He's had wars after wars. If you think of Mike Perry, you think of the fighters he has pulled. He goes down again. Trying to work that leg. 
Here's Ping Lam doing some combos now too. Nice double jab. Fates the jab and tries to land an elbow there. Rocks him with an elbow. Turns it over into a body kick. Lovely combination from Umar. Tries to land three. Another leg kick. Here's Ping tough as they come though. It's going to be a really, really hard time trying to get him out of here, man. Let's go. I feel like I might have a better chance of submitting this dude, to be honest. Nice leg kick. Let's go. I'll check a few of them though, and it is bye bye Bisping. Overhang, rocks him. Let's go. Let's go for a double leg. Can we get it? Trying to work him down in the clinch. 29 seconds in this round. Umar Nazir wasting a lot of time. And stamina. Getting that. I believe he's got it though. Can we get a double leg? Nice, nice. Can we bring him down? What, what's going on here? Can we bring him down? What the fuck? Is, what was going on there? Okay. I, I don't really know what happened there, but Umar Nazir definitely won that round again. Pressure is working well for him. We're going again into the next round. A touch gloves. A mutual respect from both of these men. I like this pin style, actually. Umar Nazir really getting in his face now. He knows this thing is hurt from that last round. A jab drops him. Jesus. Okay, this is, uh, is going to be all over in a matter of minutes, I believe. Gets him in the clinch. That is his worst mistake. Although, Bisping is pretty good in the clinch. Okay, here we go. Over under. Bisping reverses. Nice, nice. Okay. Single collar. Can we reverse? Okay. Nice, nice. Alright, let's break. Can we break? Nice. Okay. Good shot there. We go southpaw. Switching stances. Oh, a nice shot. He is hurt. Umar Nazir looking to get a finish here. Can he do it? He's hurt. Tries the double leg. Gets the double leg. Okay. Right, let's hold him down. We're going to try and submit him. Submit Michael Bisping. Can we do that? I don't even know. I don't know if we can do that. I don't think we've even got that many submissions, to be honest. Bisping back to his feet. We may just have to knock him out. Okay. It has been a really good performance tonight from Michael. But Umar, man, he is a beast. Leg kick lands. He is hurt. Teeing off now. He doesn't know what to defend, man. Oh, it's done. Umar is here. Ends the fight. And is a double champ. Umar Nazir, one of a, only a few names, is now a two-weight division world champion. Get that man his belt. He has done it again. Moved up to middleweight, took on the champion, and took him out. Not many people have done that. I believe it is like Conor McGregor, Daniel Cormier, Amanda Nunes, and Henry Cejudo, I believe. I believe that is the only uh, list of double champs. I could be wrong. I don't think I am, though. I think that is the only list of double champs. And Umar Nazir joins them names now. Obviously, other ones as well for our mode. Like, um, freaking, I don't, I don't even know. Like, uh, I, I can't remember who was a uh, double champ. But few, there's been a few. Hugo, I think Hugo Alcantara was one. I think, um, was uh, George Martinez? Not George, Carlos Martinez was one, I believe. But here we go. Let's pose with these two new belts. Because, I mean, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Where's his second belt? Big shaking hands there of the main man, Dana White. Where is the belt? Are we not going to... Are we not posing with the second belt? That dude is going through that other dude's body. What the hell happened there? Here we go. One, two, welterweight on one shoulder, middleweight on the other. Umar Nazir is a double champ tonight. Let's go. Big win for your boy. As we see right here, he has done it. In the biggest event so far, he is the double champ. That's freaking awesome to see. Okay, that was a really interesting episode. Bisping put up a good fight. I feel like Umar, just with that new style that we've given him, like he, he's got some really nice kicks, and uh, we've been using them there. And uh, they, they, they paid off. I mean, usually we don't really use many kicks with Umar. We just push forward, and uh, we look to knock him out, but... Remember there you go. Remember we telling you that you shouldn't miss this past weekend's monumental super fight? I hate to be that person, but we told you so.
The fans were buzzing, the world was watching, and the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada was at capacity last weekend when the UFC welterweight champion challenged the middleweight title holder oh boy. in an epic super fight. Why were they covered in blood <laughs> at the weigh-in? the critics and made history as one of only a handful of fighters to become a world champion in two weight classes. Oh yeah. Umar Nazir is now a double champ. So what I'm going to do, guys, is end today's video here. I would like to see straight away who we are going to be fighting for our next middleweight title defense, or, or our first middleweight title defense. We haven't actually defended a belt at middleweight. This will be our second fight at middleweight in the next video, and I'm quite excited. Obviously, we're kind of closing the chapter on Umar's career. He's had a really good career, man. I think that is 23 and 1. Unfortunately, we didn't get to avenge our loss to Kamaru Usman, which does kind of annoy me in a way. But uh, there you go. I guess I guess Kamaru didn't work his way back up. I don't actually know what happened to him. We couldn't find him in the rankings for a long time after he beat us. I would have liked the rematch, but there you go. So um, I, I don't really know what's going to happen now. I guess we'll see who they offer us. Uh, ideally, I want like Israel Adesanya, Robert Whittaker, Yo Romero, some of them big, big names in the middleweight division. Who they're going to give us for the next episode. I hope it's one of them. Yo Romero, Robert Whittaker. Okay, I'll definitely take that. He has unfortunately just lost his UFC middleweight title, but now he looks to get it back in this career mode. I would like to see the rest of the rank uh, rank of rankings, <laughs> the rest of the rankings real quick. So we got Michael Bisping in rank number two. Luke Rockhold, who has in real life moved up to lightweight or light heavyweight. Sorry, um, we do have Weidman in here. We have George St Pierre, Yo Romero, Sam Alvey, Paulo Costa, and Israel Adesanya. I'd like to fight both of them guys. Uh, but there we go. So what I'm going to do, guys, is end today's video here. Thank you so damn much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more UFC 3 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have an amazing day, and I will see you all again in the next video.